The triple digit heat has tapered off in West Texas for now. And while the heat isn't going anywhere anytime soon, the price for that higher AC bill is worth every penny. But for some, it's up for discussion. I spoke with an energy expert about a fairly new concept catching the attention of consumers and the Texas legislature. One that can save you money all by raising your thermostat a few degrees. Now is the right time while we have everyone's attention to change the way they think about something as fundamental as electricity. From hurricanes to winter freezes, natural disasters like these have put eyes on the Texas power grid more than ever, especially when residents need their energy the most. We're starting to see a shortfall between generation availability and the demand of the grid, because that's seven, eight o'clock at night, people are home, TVs are on, the oven's running, whatever. And we're using electricity, residential consumers, are using a lot of electricity. In the most recent Texas legislative session, Senate Bill 1699 was passed making incentive programs like these more of a reality. Very soon, it is realistic to assume that they'll have a program where if you respond to signals from your retailer and you reduce your consumption, you'll be incentivized in some way. Senate Bill 1699 allows aggregated distributed energy resources to participate in the ERCOT wholesale market without needing to register as a power generation company with the Public Utility Commission of Texas. Senate Bill 1699, creating a platform where this can be rolled out to every consumer in the state of Texas. That's served by a competitive retailer, so Midland, Odessa, Houston, Dallas. Now, Whaley tells me if enough residential households participate to the reacting grid conditions and grid pricing, that we could start to have a real impact on the supply-demand balance during those periods when generation just isn't there to meet consumer demand.